<laughs> again. Uh, I thought this was an interesting opportunity to film a little bit of this process once um, painting's a little further along and I decide that it's time to uh, change it even at this far along. I could keep this painting as it is. Um, there's something interesting about it and I'm okay with that, but uh, it was before and I didn't film any of this, but uh, this landscape and it was upside down and there's these trees and it turned into this girl and she's on the edge. And at the moment, that seemed very appropriate. Still sort of does. Um, but I'm ready to move past this, even at this sort of completed, illustrated sort of way. Uh, I want to take that story a little further, so I'm going to be a little dramatic right now, and I'm going to start actually, since there's uh, lots of layers in this, with a little turpentine on my rag, <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of test out how permanent this paint is. So you can see I'm still getting a little bit up. And I like this idea, and I think there's something solid about it and truthful, but um, I'm ready to kind of take it that next step. So I think just uh, for practice sake and to show you how um, unprecious sometimes you need to be about things, I am going to start by what I call obliterating it. Um, but like I said before, these oils are so awesome. Uh, what's below it will never be lost. Just changed. It only hurts for a second. more interesting already. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Uh, so, the figure hasn't gone anywhere, just sort of evolved a little bit. And uh, I just love to see where my medium will take me. So, stop with that. And, uh, just let you know, give you some freedom to really take things where they need to go and keep changing with them and know and trust the process that uh, something at least more interesting will show up on the other end. Uh, so I'll continue this a little later today or tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs>